farmers are tuned into water quality back in England, but farmers back in England have a lot of things to deal with at the moment. Okay, my name's Phil Haygarth. I'm a professor of soil and water science from Lancaster University in the north of England. And it's a pleasure to come here to Catchment Science 2019. I've been a, a student of, of land and water quality all my career, goodness me, for 25 years now. And particularly I study uh, phosphorus, that's a, a nutrient which feeds us, but it also leaks to water and co uh, contributes problems. And that's where I've been studying for a long time now. So my particular uh, findings here that I'll be presenting at this conference are how climate change actually is affecting the phosphorus cycle and that's affecting uh, the future of its emission to catchment. It's going to get worse basically in the future and that's a, that's, a, that's a bad thing. So I'm in here at the conference trying to sort of spread the message that we need to wake up to climate change affecting water quality as well as other things too. I think that the, in this discipline needs people to think more long term they're thinking too short term. We need to be thinking beyond generations. So at the moment, it's all about water framework directive targets, which are very important, of course, but we need to think about generations. So a longer term time framing is really important. And I have to say, climate change as well. Farmers are tuned into water quality back in England, but farmers back in England have a lot of things to deal with at the moment. We've got political uncertainty, we've got all sorts of pressures on farmers, and although they are tuned into water quality and doing the best they can, um, they have a lot of things to worry about. What I loved about Catchment Science 2019 is coming to Wexford, it's always good to come back here. What a beautiful part of the world and great people. Yeah.